you've probably got a web page that focuses on a particular location, but you offer services in other parts of the country, the continent, or the world. So let's say you're a web designer based in London, but you want to target Nottingham, Birmingham, Liverpool, and other areas. Or maybe you work in New York, but you also want to target other states and towns as well. Well, there's a very simple way you could do this with a free plugin called El Pagery. And there is a premium version where you do have to pay, I think it is $19 a month. But I'm going to show you what you can do for free and really make it work for you. It bulk updates a page or a template for different locations. And guess what? You can make it work for your SEO as well. Now, there are many other ways you could do this, but in a way, it's almost like using fields or pre-populated fields to dynamically populate your other bulk updated page or post or templates. And by the way, you can use this for posts as well and pages. And I'm going to show you how to do that really simply right now. What you want to be using is this free plugin. Like I said, there is a premium version. It is updated and you can see that it works with many other page builders and themes out there. The first thing you need to do is go and create a spreadsheet and you want to go and put your placeholders in, basically your titles. They must all be lowercase for database purposes. If you are going to have spaces, put an underscore in as well. Now, the free version only allows three placeholders. If you want more, you've got to go premium. Like I said, it starts at $19 per website. I'm showing you what you can do for free. So we've got location, description, image, underscore main. My location basically is Paris, New York, and London. Okay. And then I have my descriptions. And you'll notice inside of it, I've put the word Paris again, Paris again. It's not a bad idea to make your description kind of relate to your uh, location as well. That being said, if you are going to have a standard description, you can get away with that. But the reason I've gone and put, I mean, look, the wording in all three of these are completely different. Go and use chat GPT because Google don't like it. If you have like a hundred pages where the content is exactly the same, the layout is fine. But if your wording is like literally the same and all you've done is change the slug and you just said window cleaning or web designer, and that's about it, there's not much else different. Google don't like that. So I'm trying to get you to have a little bit of variety with the title and your description. Now the image underscore main is going to allow us to pull over an image as well. Now the free version of El Pagery does require the premium version to pull through images dynamically as well. I'm going to show you how to do that with the free version. So over here, I've popped in the URL. So in your website, media library, wherever you've got your relevant images, go and grab the URL, stick it in, and that's all you got to do. Then go and save. What you then want to do is go and create a page. Now your page could be created in WordPress, it could be a template, it could be an elemental page, it can be anything you want. But it's what you add onto that page which is important. I've got location, web design. Notice the word location is in curly brackets. If you go down to the slug, I'm actually just going to get rid of that. It's okay to leave that blank because it will populate it anyway when we do the bulk update. But it's important that your placeholders are in curly brackets, location, web design. Let's just click update. And now we're going to go with edit with Elemental. So here's my design. It's pretty basic. I'm just so that you can understand how this works. I've got three containers. You know, we got uh, images, text, etc., image boxes as well. But it's what we do on here. So I've got web design and I've got the word location. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to open a curly bracket and I'm going to write in location and close the curly bracket. So when this bulk updates, I want the word Paris to appear there, London, New York. Down here, it says elevate your online presence with exceptional location web design. I'm going to get rid of the word location. And again, I'm just going to pop. Well, I'm not getting rid of it. I don't even know why I'm retyping it. It's got a curly bracket at the start and the end of that word. So I want the word Paris to appear there and New York. What about down here? I don't want that description. I'm going to bring through the description that I've typed. So I'm going to type in description like that. Can you see what it's doing? In fact, let's just go down over here to where we have this heading and this title. Let's just go and type in location over here just so that you can see what it does. I'm not going to populate anything else, but it's just so you understand. Now over here, we have an image. If I go and click on the content and choose image, we don't want to pick one from the media library. Instead, we're going to insert from the URL. But here's what you do. You go and pop in open curly bracket, image underscore main, close the curly bracket. So this will now populate with what we've put on the spreadsheet. This is how clever it is. 
Let's just go and insert that. Now you will get a broken symbol, don't worry, because it's not populated. But guess what? There's more you can do with this than you probably even realize. If I go to SEO, look at what I've done here. My focus keyword, my main one is location, curly bracket, curly bracket, web design. Loca oh, sorry, let me just change that one because it's got an uppercase there. There we go. Location, curly bracket, curly bracket, web design. And I've even just put location in as well. You can pop in more words. Now, I'm not going to get all the ticks because I haven't done it for H2, H3, H4. I haven't even really done it for H1 in a way. So make sure you kind of interject that into your page however well you want to do. So that is our template anyway. It's not even a template. It's an actual page that we've built. I am going to go to my page settings though, and I'm going to do the same thing again here. So choose image, again, insert for URL, and I'm going to go with image underscore main. Let's go and insert that. Again, that's not going to work because it's not really got anything to pull through. Let's now hit update again. This is now how quick and easy this is. You go down to El Pagery and El Pagery. There's only two things you can do on here unless you have the pro version. So you can see there's lots of other options for you. Here's what you do in the free version. You go and pick your template. So I'm just gonna type in curly brackets so I don't have to scroll down. Location web page design, that was my template page. Down here, I'm now gonna provide my input, which was an Excel file. Pick it and then hit next. You might get a prompt or a pop up, just hit OK to that. And all it's now saying, are you sure this is what you want? Yes, it is. Go and hit create pages. And this is how quick it is. That's it. That's all it's done. And if you hit go to create pages, it now shows you the three pages. Look, London, Paris, New York. In fact, it sits in your pages thing. So if I put it into date order, you'll see them all appear. Now, here's the really clever bit. Remember, I got rid of the slug just to make sure it pulled through. Quick edit, London web design, Paris web design. Look at the slug, New York web design. The slug is populated for you. Now let's open up all of the pages. Let's go for Paris. So here's the Paris page, web design Paris. Look at the word, Paris is there. Do you remember we added it? Look at the description at our Paris web design studio. And we've got the word Paris appear there as well. And our image, look at those descriptions, right? Focus on that. We have a completely different description here, London, different image. And you got the word London there because it's in the description. New York, different image, looking for web design in New York. And you'll have the word New York appear there. It is, it's just doing it like that on the fly. And of course, if you've got 100 pages, I reckon it might take about 15 to 20 seconds. It is so super quick at what it does. Let's go to the SEO and look at that. Paris web design, Paris web designer, Paris. I put in curly bracket location, curly bracket, and it's popped it in. Look, look at this description over here. By the way, I didn't show you this, but my original description, remember what it looked like. Here's the dummy page, remember? Look, even my snippet, which I didn't really show you, I've got location web design, five star, da 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 da, location web design is the permalink. Now I've got location web design, da 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 da. You go to Paris, look at it. Paris, 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 it's all coming through. Look at that, the keyword is in the SEO title, it's in the URL. Yes, I know we've not done it for lots of other options here, but that's for you to go and pad out. Isn't that super, super cool and easy? So if you're gonna have, I mean, you might have standard images, by the way, okay, on every page, because you're gonna show off your services. But if you wanna have an image, a featured image, a background image for that particular location, and you wanna get across the words, you can do. And now when you do your marketing, you have a particular slug and page to share. That was the L Pagery plugin that you can start using for free and bulk update creating lots of pages for different locations and services and whatever. I mean, it doesn't even have to be just locations. Remember this, okay? You have free fields. You call those fields what you want. You could even have a field with email, right? You could use the like icon list widget and then you put in curly bracket, email, curly bracket, even phone, mail to, colon, curly bracket, email, curly bracket. You can do that. If you don't have the premium version, you are limited to free fields, but there's so much variety. So if you were gonna create a separate page now for like um, 50 services, let's just say you got loads of services, you could bulk crate on the fly for free. I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never
never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that